morning world. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you can all hear me okay. I'm officially now doing this from my from my iPad, which is weird because it's a big screen. And how great is it to wake up in the middle of May and it'd be like 33 degrees outside? Oh, man. I just want to turn my heat off already. I would like to turn my heat off. I would really love to turn my heat off. I mean, sure, I turn it off during the day. But, man, every morning it is freezing, freezing in the house. So, today we're going to start with the Sacred Rebels. I don't know what day it is. It might be day 60. I have no freaking clue anymore. I hope everybody out there in Facebook land is doing good. You all have a beautiful first half of the week. It is hump day, right? Is it Wednesday? Yes, it is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. What energy do we have for Wednesday? What do we got for mid week to get us through to get us through the rest of the week what do we have from the sacred rebels some knowledge wisdom and guidance to help support us in the quarantine and the chilliness that is i mean this would be beautiful fall weather if it was fall not spring definitely not spring all right knowledge wisdom guidance and it just went flying out of my hand so perfectly Spirals of Manifestation. I love that. Spirals of Manifestation. And look at all the little spirals in there. That, like sacred geometry. Fibonacci sequence, if you're familiar with the Fibonacci sequence. Spirals of Manifestation. What are we manifesting? What are we bringing into reality? That's a good one. I'm all about the manifesting. So let's see what the book has to say. Spirals of Manifestation. This is a good one. Great card to start the day with, to start the morning. Spirals of manifestation. What are we manifesting? The creative, rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It's not linear. Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius, a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route if there is an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progress and the curved loop is on the path will be quicker, more fun, and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided to that path? It can happen through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what on the surface appears to be a logical progression. Ooh, that's good. So what may be right around the spiral is exactly what you need, but you don't see it yet. Sorry, so reflective. These cards are so reflective. But you don't see it yet because it's caught up in the spiral. It might be over here, and you can only see right there. So can you stay in the flow of things? Can you stay in that belief, that knowing that what you are manifesting is coming, and it's super close, but it just might be a little bit out of your reach? Mm, great card to start the day. Let's see if there's one more little message in, in here for, for this manifesting. One more little, uh, all right. This oracle has a message. It has a message for us. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when you feel the furthest away from what we want, we are really actually closer than ever before. Just one turn on a spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Believing, believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are bigger, braver, and a more ancient soul. You have enough to believe in so that you can see it sooner, bigger, and brighter. Don't give in to those who tell you it shouldn't have happened already or that you have failed. They're just suffering from lack of patience and understanding. Oh, so good. So think about that. And, you know, I, I go back and forth with the idea of when you are manifesting and creating something to tell everybody. And then sometimes I feel like, don't tell anybody until, like, you're really ready. 
because there are those people in our life that won't be able to see it and won't be able to understand. They're like, it's never going to happen. Why are you doing that? When in reality, it might just be right there, right on the outer edge of the loop, and you can't see it, your friends can't see it, and most of the times when our friends say, why are you doing that? You can't do that. It's because our friends want to do the things that we're doing, and they're afraid, they're nervous, they're scared, so they would rather be like, it's not going to happen. Why are you wasting your time? What are you thinking? What are you doing? They just can't see what you're manifesting because it's over on the other side of the spiral. It's not on that linear path that most people are on. So, stay the course, my friends. I think that card is a great um, reminder that we all need to stay the course. Don't get thrown off because things may be shitty. Don't get thrown off from the creative process. Just allow it to be. And when people say, why are you doing that? You can't do that. You're crazy. Smile politely. Say thank you for your information and just keep moving on. Don't allow the outside world to stop your manifestation process because only you can manifest what you want to manifest into your reality. All right, so we're starting off manifesting. Let's see what the angels and ancestors have for us to go along with our spirals of manifesting. Spiral of manifestation. What do the angels and ancestors have for us for our spiral of manifestation? Maybe the angels and ancestors have a house for me in the middle of the woods. I would like to live in the middle of the woods. If anyone has a house in the middle of the woods, let me know. Um, all right, some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance from our ancestors. I feel a little silly again. Yet again, last night I was up at 4 in the morning, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. I don't know what those planets are doing, but they're doing something. All right, what do we have? Knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective from the angels and ancestors. We're going to go middle of the deck here and go with the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. I love the star ancestor. I love the aliens. I love all of this, these um, higher dimensional beings, we'll call them. And this is so good. Star ancestor. Oh, Dre, I'm jealous. Um, follow the voice of your soul. Follow the voice of your soul, which is so great because we've got the spirals of manifestation. We're creating. That creative process is, is happening. And follow the voice of your soul. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what other people say? Follow the voice of your soul. What is the voice of your soul telling you to do? What's the voice of your soul asking you to do. Are you listening to that voice? Do you know what that voice sounds like? And if you don't, that's okay. Because, not you know, it's like we all don't walk around and be like, oh yeah, I'm hearing voices. But if you sit down and you start meditating and you start going within, you're going to start noticing the synchronicities and the signs. And you're going to start hearing those little voices. You're going to start seeing the signs. You're going to start being directed to where you need to be to create that manifestation that you are creating. So listen to the voice inside and know that what you're creating is just around the curve. You know, my little place in the middle of the woods is just around the curve. I can't see it on this linear path, but I know it's there. I know, I know it's there. I just have to wait for it to show up, right? So one last card for today. We're using our, our energy guides again. Let's see what the overall energy is for this beautiful Wednesday, chilly, chilly Wednesday morning. What do we have to go with our spiral of manifestation and following the voice of your soul? Follow the voice of your soul. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Cindy, I love follow the voice of your soul. I absolutely love it. And our energy is, oh... Healer of the ages. Healer of the ages. So, can you heal yourself? Can you be your own healer? He oh, look at that. No, not a lot of glare out there. Can you be the healer of the ages? And this healer is a little bit of a representation of Christ, Jesus. You know, he, he did some healing. Um, notice his heart chakra is exploding. We've got some fire almost shooting out of him as well. Tap into that healing energy, right? You're manifesting, following the voice of your soul. Now you're being asked, 
Can you be the healer? Can you be the healer of your life? Can you be the savior of your life? Why wait for somebody else to come around and save you? What if you actually saved yourself? What if you realized that everything that you needed to save yourself was already inside of yourself? This is the sign letting you know that all that stuff is right there inside of you. All right, health and vitality. This powerful being brings a force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of a divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills, helping you to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you might just be opening to the wonderful sensation now. You can call upon this miraculous transformation energy whenever you need vitality, balance, and renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. An important healing is taking place. Our affirmation to go along with this healing is, the powerful healing of eternal love is with me now and always. Divine consciousness fills every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. Oh, man, say that every day. The, the powerful healing of eternal love is with me now and always. Divine consciousness fills every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. Say that every day, and I bet you you're going to start manifesting the shit out of things. You're going to start listening to that little voice inside. Right? Tap into the healer. Tap into that healing energy that you are. You don't have to walk around and be like, I'm a healer. Uh, I've got all this healing energy in, in, in you. Great. If you do it, then heal your fucking damn self. Listen to your voice. Listen to the inner voice and start manifesting the shit out of this life. Stop waiting around. Stop waiting for someone to come heal you, for someone to save you, and save your damn self. Listen to the voice inside. That voice inside is telling you what to do. Listen. And if you're not listening, then sit down, breathe, practice listening, and eventually you're going to hear that little voice. You're going to see the signs, the signals, all of those things. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Well, this, my friends, this card today on Hump Day is very, very powerful, very powerful reading. We're manifesting. We're listening to our voice. We're healing ourselves. We're moving from love. We're moving from a space of love. Tap into that inner alien. Because that inner alien is definitely a healer and definitely manifests the shit out of things. Well, guys, that was that was a fun a fun reading this morning that has me feeling very inspired to create some things. We'll see if anything good comes out of me today as I try to warm up. Thank you all for being here this morning. Tonight, uh, our Kundalini class in the Yoga Brain Zoom room from six to seven. And tomorrow, Thursday, Nooner Kundalini uh, with me in my Zoom room. So if you want to be part of any of these things, I'll share the link. Have a beautiful day. Start manifesting, creating the life that you want to create. My good friend Jennifer Pasteloff used to say when she was all about manifesting is that manifesting means making shit happen. Can you make some shit happen? What do you want to make happen? What do you want to create? What are you going to bring into existence? That's your homework for today. Manifest the shit out of something. Manifest the shit out of something. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Maybe I'll see you tonight in the Zoom room or tomorrow for the Nooner. I would love to see you all for the Nooner. Because who doesn't like a Nooner, right? Get your mind out of the gutter. I love you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow morning or maybe tonight. Have a great day. Stay safe. Manifest the shit out of these things. And um, if you have a, a hookup for a little place in the woods for me, reach out. Let me know. Because that's what we're manifesting. A place in the middle of the woods. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. I love you all. I will see you. I'll see you sometime. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.